What's up girl bosses? I am a rat taxidermied in the form of a chef and today we are going to come as Romans. This is Brand of Sacrifices, sort of a reimagination of their song Dark Bloom. I remember I checked uh, just checked out the original about nine months ago, so it's been been ages since I heard the original song, but I do remember I liked it a lot. I decided to see what Brand does with this one. I'd really appreciate it if you liked this video. Subscribe to the channel, it's free, helps me out a ton, helps you find new music, and it costs you nothing. Also, in the description down below are all my social media links. I live stream on Twitch every Friday, 7 to 9 p.m. Music streams, random streams thrown here and there. Let's get it. I am Dark Bloom. Oh, I guess it's like a hybrid. Okay, Kyle. I have to add the choir. Okay, shit, they're passing back and forth. That's sick. Nice. I just want to confirm that. Is that... Mm. My guess is that it's um, at least sampling the original. And then we got Kyle going back and forth there. Oh yeah, the ambience there or the strings, the stringiness, whatever that instrument is, love that shit. I think that's synth. Fucking heavy. I do like how it has like that. It's faithful to the original. Yeah, that brand, like, <laughs> that brand program choir, I love that. That adds a whole new layer. There it is again, very subtle. <laughs> oh <laughs> it, you got some goblin holy fuck dude It just makes me laugh. It's just so fucking funny how like insane, you know, Deathcore has become. I uh, gotta love that. Uh, would you guys rather fight an ogre or a garblin? Oh uh, shit, that's amazing. Love, love, love this. Yeah, I remember when Dark Bloom came out. That was like, I think that was my first time checking out We Came As Romans. I really, really did like that song. And it's cool that like this wasn't just like a cover, but it was kind of like, um, it was, it was a duet. Of sorts. Uh, it was nice that there were like some elements that were like very faithful to the original song, but also other parts there where Brenda sacrificed 
they took those sections and they like kind of completely made it their own. Uh, I do love the, uh, you know, all the, the programming elements going into this. So, you know, classically with Brand of Sacrifice, we got the choir, the Do Re Ma Fu Re. You know, you know, Eclipse, you know, Eclipse, you know, Eclipse. Uh, yeah, I love that. But also there was some higher, um, like harp synths that had some weird waveforms. Like you could tell just by the way they sounded. They sounded almost like string instrument, instruments. Maybe they were string instruments with a fuck ton of effects. I don't know. But I just know I liked how it sounded. My guess is that it was synth and not just a guitar with a ton of effects. It's easier to do it with synth. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think of this. Uh, I don't even know what to call it. This re reimagination. This is not quite a cover. Uh, maybe it's a cover. But it, it, it's such a cool collab. It does seem like uh, Brand has been really up to a ton of cool stuff lately. Especially, I think the um, the last thing we heard from Brand, uh, at least Brand's Corner, was uh, Lifeblood with Will Ramos. Uh, on it as a guest going back and forth between Kyle and Will. It, it's cool when they do stuff like this where it's not just like a complete cover, um, but rather they, you know, you know, they work with the artists that they're collaborating with and then try to make something that's kind of in between their style and the original artist style or vice versa. I feel like with that Lifeblood cover with Will, um, they gave Will a lot of room to, you know, do his thing and really flex his, flex his pipes. Can I say, that feels like a euphemism, but it's not. And, and the moral of the story is never give up. Let me know what you guys think of this, uh, this, whatever it is, this reimagination. Uh, I fucking loved it. That was really fucking sick. That was cool. It was really cool. I'm excited to see what Brand of Sacrifice does next. I'm guessing, I don't know. They're kind of on like that album wave now. Uh, maybe it's an EP, but I'd imagine it's an album. So there might be uh, some time before we hear from, uh, or a full release from Brand again. But I'm hoping that they, you know, keep us filled in with a bunch of these uh, intermittent collaborations and stuff because it's really cool seeing them like explore their sound. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think of the track. I love you. And uh, like and comment if you came as a Roman. And I'm out of here.